Well, I've come now to one of the five crossing points in the buffer zone, the green zone that's surveyed by the United Nations that runs all the way across Cyprus. I'm here to meet uh, an MEP, Costas Mavrides. Very nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Now, you're actually from what's now northern Cyprus. Uh, is all of Cyprus still your homeland? Yes, I was born in the northern occupied part of Cyprus, uh, but still I express in the huge majority of Cypriots. We consider all of Cyprus from east to, to west and from the north to the south as one unified Cyprus. Unfortunately, we are all part of the European Union as one member state, but the government cannot exercise effective control in the north part due to the Turkish occupation. And this is, we are in the middle of one of the major crossing points, mm. and this is uh, the House of Cooperation. So uh, let's have a closer look at the House of Cooperation. Uh, what actually happens here? And here, young people from both sides can meet and talk and plan and build up friendships. Of course, these are very important building measures of trust, but they will never replace a real, viable solution that will bring security for, the, for our homeland as a unified place. Well, if we walk any further, we're actually not really allowed to continue filming. So let's go to the north together to your village where you were born. Let's go. Let's go. Well, here we are. We are now in Vikoma, which is Costas Mavrides home village. Uh, tell us, you left here in 1974, aged 11. Yes, I was living here in my village, my home, uh, until 1974. It was a small paradise for all of us. And all of a sudden we had, on uh, July 20th, a Turkish invasion. And it was, uh, the paradise became, all of a sudden, a nightmare. And uh, what happened with your family? You just decided to leave. Um, this place that you see here was full of uh, trees and we were hiding, trying to save ourselves from bombardment of airplanes, Turkish airplanes. And um, after a few days, uh, the message was very clear. Run for your lives, otherwise you will be slaughtered by Turkish troops. And we ran away. There were little girls, boys, older people. The ones who couldn't run away for their lives and stay behind, the elders, the sick people, most of them, uh, either they were executed or they are still missing. And then later on, many years later, you were able to come back here, to come back to your house. This isn't the first time you've come here. What was it like the first time you came back to the house where you grew up? It's something between bittersweet. On one hand, I feel very sweet that I'm home, at the same time, I feel very bitter because I cannot have the part of my life back again because it's still under Turkish occupation. Obviously, now there is a, a, a Turkish family that lives in what was your house. How do you feel about the people here? They are Turkish Cypriots. They were brought here by the regime after 1974. Their original home village is in the government control area by the Republic of Cyprus. Mm -hmm and it is secure and ready for them to go and stay whenever they want to. Of course, um, it's a difficult issue to manage, but I think that what has to prevail is the rule of law of the European Union. And by the way, I, I see something that I'd like to point to you. Mm. This was my bed in 1970, before 1974, I remember sleeping for years when I was going to elementary school. And the first time when I saw it, I almost collapsed. Um, it's a feeling that I don't wish even for my enemies to feel. Mm. It's very strange. You feel that part of your life is being uh, taken away and put in exile. And I know that this bed, might seem like a piece of iron, but it's much more for someone who's left for years. Of course, a very long time has now passed since you and your family fled this house and, and, and everything was divided in two. Do you feel that time could be running out? On one hand, yes. 
time is working against all of us who want to have a free, unified Cyprus. On the other hand, the basic factor that needs to be taken out of any solution is Turkey. And Turkey, as you know, uh, cannot be trusted. We need to have Turkey uh, out of Cyprus, and the guarantor can be, can be for everyone the European Union. I think Europe needs to do more in Cyprus, because Cyprus is part of the European Union. It's not some third country. It is a, a matter where, many times I say, the principles, the values of Europe are being tested in Cyprus, where we have a small member state, isolated island away from uh, the continental Europe. And this is where Europe needs to show their muscles. They cannot hide and say, it's your own business. We can serve the interests of Europe, but Europe needs to give us back the protection and safety and security that we expected to have when we join the European Union. Well, thank you very much for bringing us to your home village, Kostas Mavridas, for giving us your point of view on the whole situation here in Cyprus. It was really indeed my pleasure to have you here.